In this lecture, let's see how we can add a validation on a form input in React. Currently, what is happening is if I enter something in this first name text box, let's say my name and I click on this create user button, it logs that value and it also resets this first name input. Now, if I don't enter anything in this first name input and then if I click on this create user, you will see that an empty string has been logged here. If I click again, you can see that empty string has been locked two times. And this is not the behavior which we want. If the first name input is empty, we want to show a validation error message saying that first name is a required field. In simple terms, user should not be able to submit this form if this first name input field is empty. To do that, what we can do is inside this on submit handler function, before we do anything, we want to check the value of the first name input field. So we are storing that value in this first name state. So here we want to check if this first name is equal to empty string. And on this first name, let's also use this trim function just to trim all the white spaces before and after this first name. So if this first name is an empty string, in that case, we simply want to return from this function. We don't want to do anything. In that case, what will happen is if this first name is empty string, this function will be returned from here itself. So these logics will not be executed. Let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. Let me refresh the page here. So if I enter something here, let's say John, and if I click on this create user button, that has been logged here. But if this first name input field is empty, and then if I click on this create user button, you will see nothing is happening. Not even the empty string is being logged here. Okay. So here we are not doing anything if the user does not enter anything in the first name input field. We are simply returning from this on submit handler function. But in this way, the user will not come to know what has gone wrong. So we need to tell user that this first name input field is a mandatory field and he or she should enter some text in this input field. Then only the form will be submitted. To do that, let's go ahead and let's create a new state. For that, let's use this use state hook and we know that this use state hook is going to return an array let's use the array destructuring syntax here and here let's create a state let's call it maybe f name is valid and let's create a state updating function let's call it set f name is valid and initially let's set this f name is valid to false then if this first name is an empty string that means if the user has not entered anything in the first name input field at that time also, we want to set this f name is valid to false. But if this first name is not an empty string, in that case, this if statement will not get executed. And from here, the code will be executed. So outside of this if statement, we want to set this f name is valid to true. Because this part of code will only get executed if this first name is not an empty string. And then here after this input element, Let's also add a div and inside this div, let's add a paragraph and here let's say first name is required field. Now we want to display this div only if this F name is valid is false. If it is true, in that case, we don't want to display this message. So here let's wrap it within curly braces because here we want to output this HTML content dynamically. So here we are going to check if this f name is valid, if it is false, so on this f name is valid, I'm going to use this not operator. Okay, so if this is false, in that case, we want to display this content. Otherwise, if it is true, in that case, we don't want to display this content. With this, let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page and you will see that this message is being displayed initially also, initially when this page loads. But we don't want to display this message when the page loads for the first time. We only want to display this message if the user does not enter anything in this first name input field and he clicks on this create user button. So for that, what we can do is we can set this initial value of this F name is valid to true. Now, this is not the correct way of doing this because initially this first name is an empty string. So initially also this F name is valid should be false. But here for now, let's set it to true. Later we will modify this code again and there we will set this F name is valid initial value to false and we will handle it accordingly. So now if I go to the web page, 
Now, initially, that validation error message is not shown here. We clear the console here. And now, if I click on this create user button without entering anything in this first name text box, you will see that that message is being displayed here. Let's also go ahead and let's add some style on this div. So here I'm going to add some inline style for that. I can use this style attribute to that. We can assign an object and there I'm going to set the font size to maybe 14 pixel and color to red. Let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page. So initially when the page loads, no validation error message is shown here. Let me clear the console. And if I click on this create user button without entering anything in this first name text box, you will see that that validation error message has been shown here. So this is how you can add a validation on a forms input element.